Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome to the vlog. Now, this is a moving vlog. I just got off Snapchat where you guys were, well, I asked y'all first if you wanted me to vlog this whole experience of moving and whatnot because last time when I moved from Texas to Oregon, I kinda did it, but not like a really, really in-depth like moving vlog. So this will be that. Um, I am working uh, this morning to kinda get us really, really started because um, yeah, we um, have kind of been taking our time and kind of like pushing it off to the weekend because technically we get our keys on Sunday. Today is Friday, so we really have just these two days to really pack up. And Mark has to obviously work during the week, so really Sunday is the day that he has to really do a lot of the heavy lifting. And then we have movers coming Monday morning to get like the big stuff. So I will show you guys kind of like the progress so far cleaned out our little uh, TV stand here um, we had stuff all in there but obviously I got all of that out there's clothes box um, I'm pr pretty much done with the kitchen the only thing I have to do with the kitchen left is um, just get like those dishes over there and then we have plates up there that just and glasses that need to get wrapped but everything else is cleaned out already um i need to do those dishes there's some in there right now um those boxes are done as far as the kitchen goes um this is our hallway <laughs> um yeah uh that is our new bed that we got we got a new platform bed from wayfair it's a um it's like dark charcoal gray or whatever so we're really excited about that um boxes so that we can get to pack in this is my office <laughs> it's like oh my gosh so much and and i literally have packed so much and i still have all this left so yeah because these are boxes right here of stuff and then i've got like well here i'll show you guys there's like some little boxes down there that i'm packing for my um a few a couple of my friends and my sisters um just like beauty products that i've had like sitting in my cabinets and stuff that i want to give to them so there's a bunch of stuff there so I'm trying to be strategic and like filling their boxes before I actually packed my stuff so that I can send those off to them um, and get rid of some of those products, uh, which is crazy because just five months ago, whenever I moved here, I literally filled um, my old assistant. Uh, she got in a full-time job, so I'm so happy for her. Hey, Deja. Uh, I filled Deja's car with products clothes i mean like her whole car back seat the front seat the trunk was filled filled to capacity with clothes and shoes and makeup products hair stuff whatever and i uh am still purging now so um i've been actually looking on pinterest at uh like decluttering tips and tricks and stuff that i feel like i'm gonna end up doing um these are like serious decluttering like takes you weeks and months to get done but i was reading up on it a little bit and i was like oh my gosh this sounds so interesting and so good because i feel like i'm a hoarder <laughs> by nature and i'm really 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 trying to break myself out of that hoarding mentality like asking myself questions like okay have i even touched this in the last three months or the last six months in the last year besides like putting it in a box and dragging it with me to a new apartment so um i'm gonna make that kind of a project for me in the next like three or four months is like the whole like purging of stuff and um whenever we get into a new place because i don't know why but we kind of we didn't like randomly move but we kind of did we like broke our lease and everything because um i guess this is i should tell y'all while we're moving one our apartment is really dark so right now it's like daylight it's super sunny outside but as you can see here i'm like standing right in front of a window and it's still really dark in this room so um the past this past spring i um obviously i work from home and i was seriously having like real vitamin d deficiency like super depressing um very my anxiety spiked up which i already have really bad anxiety 
where I um, I struggle with it. I've been struggling with anxiety since I was like a little kid. Uh, so when I was here by myself for like those few months this past spring, it really got to me and I didn't understand what was happening. It was honestly a combination of things, but I also feel like our living space had a really big part of it as well because I'm here like 90% of my time I'm at home. Um, so I, um, so I really was struggling with like the fact that it was so dark in here. And then we also had so much rain this spring that, um, it rained like for, it would rain for like three weeks straight, like every day gloomy on top of it being so dark in here. It was like a combo for destruction. So, um, so yeah, so we have that was a major thing um because even in this apartment i'll show you guys um it's like bright right now right but you guys can see that's a window so i'm gonna show y'all how dark it can get in here when i cut all the lights off so i'm gonna cut that light off I'm gonna i literally have every light on because it see how dark it gets and that's not even like all the lights off so this is it because there's no outdoor windows in this area so it's like hella dark so then if i go over here mind you i have all all this window here and this is how like still dark it is and this is like it's i don't know what time it is daytime <laughs> daytime uh it's like 10 a.m but if i cut these blinds and imagine if it was gloomy outside or was it sunny it gets dark as hell in here. It's, this is dark. So, um, and there's no like, there's a light right there, but it doesn't get that dark, it, it doesn't get that light. So, oh well, let me show y'all. So that's the light. It's still pretty dark because it's not that big of a light, but look how dark the kitchen is. It's like super dark in there. So Needless to say, that was a major issue for me because I'm the one who was here 24-7. And Mark really couldn't tell because he's at work all day, um, you know. So, for me, I'm like, yo, this is not going to work. Uh, okay, so it was that. And then number reason number two was because we have a two-story like story apartment. And um, I'm going to show y'all. So, we have a two-story apartment. And... We don't have a uh, central air. So like the way that air works out here is that um, they have like exterior vents, right? And w we are from Texas. I, I have not lived my entire life in Texas, but I've lived overseas. I've lived in other countries and I've lit like when I lived in Germany, we had those external like heating, um, heating things and uh, AC and stuff like that. But I think it must have just been more naturally windy or something when we lived there because it was never an issue. But here, this building is so old. It They obviously renovated it, but it's so old that like they don't have central air. So there's no like filtering system. So yes, you can control the air on the wall, but it's coming from these external units that basically just heat up the room that you're in. But every room doesn't have it. So when we're downstairs, there's like air that controls the heat and cool down here. But then if we go upstairs, there's a different like heating. So up here, again, it's also very dark. There's no like light up there. So it's like dark as hell in here and then the lights just don't make sense here so like there's a light right there right but why would you have a light right there because it does it's not bright enough to fill up the whole room so it's like there's no light over here and then there's a light here like these lights which another reason why i'm like why is this here like the, it, it's like why why is this in the bedroom it it's it just it's very odd to me the way they set this apartment up but when we first moved in we were like oh this is interesting like it's probably like super convenient you know to have that there but as you actually live in it you're like 
why why use this why is this here so then on top of that we've got this back area back here and which is you know basically a second closet because that's all is over here is closed which it looks messy now because obviously we're packing but look how dark it is over here and there's no light there's no light so it's dark as hell and then this is the walk-in closet there's a light in here but like there's no light over here besides this window and look how dark it is if you have the window blinds closed like it's crazy so anyway um so yeah that's the other big thing was like it's so it's just so dark in our apartment um and then oh but but with the heating and situation it gets so hot up here like i'm already like sweating perspiring and i've only been up here for like two minutes it gets so hot up here because again there's no like filtration of air so we have to keep the window open which we have to keep the window open downstairs too and y'all it ain't that hot in oregon it's like on a regular day, it might maybe hit 90, maybe hit 92. But usually it's pretty like in the 80s. It's really nice weather outside. It will be cooler outside than it is in here. We haven't slept like in our bed on a regular basis in like two or three months. Yeah, like we've been sleeping on the couch downstairs. So those are the main two big reasons why we got to get the hell up out of here. And then, and then on top of that, we got another room right here right this is our guest room and there's no light so all you have is that window or your own like little lamps and stuff that you put in yourself but I'm just like who makes apartments with rooms and no light it it just it literally boggles my mind and it doesn't make any sense but we did to to our defense we did rush to um oh that's another one reason number three we're getting the hell up out of here those right there those stackable laundry situation our laundry situation is horrible those two um wash and dryer are so tiny like so tiny and they shake because they're so freaking old but it came with the apartment and we even asked we we're like hey can we you know get them switched out or can we like get them taken out and we can get our own like get our own stackables or whatever they're like no so we're like, okay, we, we're trying to make this work, but it's not. Um, and then reason number four, four, <laughs> reason number four is the parking situation outside is trash. Um, they, they're the system that they've got going on is just not together at all. Um, so yeah, uh, that is why we're getting, we're getting out this piece. Um, so I'm gonna start packing again. I guess this was my little break to talk to y'all for 10 minutes about why we're getting the hell out of this apartment. on my nerves he has been tap dancing on my last nerve the very last one the very last one for the last couple days now mind you I know it's a stressful time moving is stressful it takes a lot out of you and you know tensions are high because you got a lot going on and um, yeah <laughs> He is definitely, he's definitely doing his part. He's definitely um, picking up his, his, his end and, um, you know, wants to take the lead on this, on this move. And you guys know I'm an alpha female. I am very much so a step up and take the lead type of girl. I am a girl boss and I have to be really careful about, oh, sorry, it's so dark, you guys. I have to be very careful about my choice of words and my attitude because I don't like to take direction, especially in situations where I feel as though I have the capability of making my own decisions, especially being the fact that I've moved like five times in the last two years. I'm pretty sure I have a well-versed idea of what it takes to move and, you know, stuff like that. And, and I've done it by myself and with help before. So yeah, you know, but his whole thing is he's, you know, 
he's doing all the heavy lifting beyond the movers so he's like let me take the lead on this like stop trying to dictate stuff and i'm just like okay all right i will try even though i am um struggling with that right now i'm being transparent i'm not being the best follower right now um only because I'm not a follower by nature. I'm sorry. I've just always done my own thing. Always. Always done my own thing. Always been very, like, sure of myself and the decisions that I make. Even when I make wrong decisions, I still... I still, um... I own it. I, I, I own it. You know what I'm saying? But, obviously, I'm learning how to balance that with living and being with another person and so that's difficult um especially when um your significant other has such a huge personality like he is a very boisterous and energetic person but in times like this um we're bumping heads a little bit because i'm like trying to you know preserve my energy not like you know go like super hard from sun up to sun down and that's his mentality he's like let's get up let's work let's uh, 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 do this do this do this and i'm just like i don't work like that i don't work well with you telling me to do this and then do this and then do this without a plan like a written out plan like a guide that i can reference back to i enjoy having a guide if we're gonna have a plan Let's write it out. Let's sit down. Let's talk about it. And then let's, let's move. I don't like just moving because you told me to move. Why am I moving right now? Why am I doing what you're asking me to do right now? And that is my first point of reference. So when I do that every step of the way, it makes things a little difficult. And I know that. I know. I'm working on it. I really am. I woke up this morning. I said, Jade. We're going to be team players today. We're going to make sure that our attitudes are right so that we can get this move taken care of and we can get it going um, smoothly as possible. Yeah, I'm at Jamba Juice. I had to get, I had to get away. I had to, I had to take a break. Um, he didn't want me to go to Jamba Juice right now, but I was like, you know what? I am, okay? And because I need a break. I need, I need to clear my head. I need to get some nutrients in my body and you know, step away for a second. So this was my excuse to step away. Chomp the juice. So yeah, about to go get some. Um, he's probably going to be like, why did it take you so long? Because I'm vlogging. So, but I'm not going to tell him that. <laughs> this, is it. this is the empty apartment. Got a closet right here by the door. We've got the dark wood flooring in certain areas and then carpet in some areas. This is the laundry room. Yay, no more stackables. We've got legit um, washer and dryer that are huge, which is wonderful. Um, then here is the second bathroom. Really nice size. Yay. Um, really nice size. Deep, um, deep tubs too. And then, this is the guest room. Closets there. This is the living room. Our kitchen that we love. So nice with the drop down um, lights, outside area. Now this is the master, which actually I love the fact that this is all, this all closes like, it's our little sanctuary of our space. You walk in, the bathroom, is huge so big so big then we got another closet in here for like towels and whatnot and um, closet 
It's not the biggest closet I've seen before, but it's definitely enough space. And then this is the master. Lots of light and light up there. Um, right out to like some bushes and whatnot, carpet. Yeah, that's it. This is the empty apartment before we start moving stuff and painting and everything. So, uh, okay, so I'm almost done with this wall that I just painted. Um, Mark wanted to do like a Tiffany blue, so that is the wall in our living room. It's not all the way finished. Obviously, I need to like go, I have to go to Target and get a, um, um, a stepping stool so that I can get up there and um, finish the top of that, but um, I'm like tired. It's um, 4.30 now. Uh, we've got this much stuff in here so far. Um, obviously, things are kind of everywhere. Um, a lot is still at the other apartment. He got mad at me earlier, which he's kind of still mad at me now. I'm kind of still mad at him, to be honest. But, um, but yeah, so I need to go to Target and... Um, get some stuff I gotta get some rings for the shower it's like the little things that you don't think about is like the rings for the shower curtain and then another shower curtain because in our second bathroom before we didn't have a shower so now we have two bathrooms with two full bath and showers so gotta get some curtains for that I gotta get curtain curtains and bars for this window that window and that window so oh you guys can see that's the living room so i'm almost done with my accent wall um i'm kind of tempted to do another one that color in here because i feel like it kind of feels like one-sided or not balanced so i might end up doing like like that one is that color and then also doing this one that blue color but i haven't decided yet i don't know we'll see we'll see but it actually wasn't that much of a tough process so i really just wanted to get this wall done because um that's where we're going to mount the tv and stuff and so i wanted to get that kind of out the way but this one like i can do this at any point because we're not going to really be like in a hurry to mount anything or like hang anything right here so if i decide like next week or something that i want to um that I want to paint that wall as well, I can do that. Um, because the paint that I got is really good. It's like primer and dries real fast. It's like all in one, so yeah. This lighting is everything though. Can you guys see? This is so like, yay, new light. And it's bright and airy and like fresh and all that. So um, yeah, just finishing that stuff and we got a lot of work to do still, but that's okay. Um, we'll we'll get it done. We're gonna get it done. Good morning. It is day two of moving, and it is about a little bit after 7 a.m. And uh, Mark has already been up. Um, he made a trip to the other apartment this morning, so he's there again, um, dropping stuff off, taking stuff or whatever. So I'm here um, cleaning up and stuff. The movers are coming in like um, like an hour and a half or so, so we have a little bit of time to kind of like get our bearings together before we get today started. I'm like hella tired today, so I know he's super tired, but it's really not a lot. Most of it is like stuff that the movers just like need to actually just like pick up and put in a box. I mean, not put in a box, but like pick up and um take over so upstairs I, need, I can't forget um yeah so this is our bedroom no bed or anything um yep and then we had this area over here that had most of our stuff honestly but it's all empty so we had like clothes and um shoes and stuff um, the closet's empty. Yeah, so we're making we're making headway. It's just a process. <laughs> Hi, 
what's up it's day three of the move the final day we are well i am cleaning up the apartment um it is empty it's empty in here it's empty yay we're almost out we're almost out there's a little bit more stuff over there that we gotta get but um yeah we're almost done Oh, so happy. I love our new place, y'all. It is just everything. So I am geeked about really decorating and making everything feel like us and home. And I already know I'm like getting all this good energy from <laughs> the new apartment. No, like seriously, you guys, ever since we stepped into this new place, um, I've just had like very good vibes and very good energies from like the area and um, where we live and like the management company at our apartment complex is really, really nice. They're so cool. Um, and I've never had that kind of connection with like a apartment leasing, you know, management before. Um, so that's really nice. And um, yeah, so they've been like really great through the whole move and uh, that's key um, because you know when you have like crappy management at your apartment it just makes everything more stressful because it's like they're not trying to work with you or they're being weird or whatever but they have been great so um, I'm excited and Mark is really excited we definitely had our ups and downs this past few days but as every move is um, you know we have our little meltdowns but then we pick ourselves back up and we keep going um honestly all attributing to him because if it were up to me i would like sit in my funk and mood and not say anything to him but he kind of like forces me out every single time which i'm thankful for and he knows that i'm thankful for so yeah you know i'm not gonna lie to y'all i got an attitude a lot of the time um during this move i you know i'm so uh, i don't know I'm so used to doing my own things, calling the shots, like all of that. And like I said earlier, and situations like this force me to get out of the driver's seat. And that is so not easy for me. And so I make it really difficult for Mark to be in a driver's seat. <laughs> I really do. I probably make it 10 times more difficult than it has to be but that's just my you know i'm human i'm not perfect like i have my faults so um yeah those those definitely came out to play um but i'm not gonna beat myself up about it or anything like that i just have to recognize like my weaknesses and he has strengths in a lot of areas that I have weaknesses in. So I think part of me is like, I see him do so well when it comes to like moving and like different situations like that, that I may not be able to like handle or not, may not be able to be my best self in, you know? And I see him like, just like handling it easily, working through it, being chill about it or whatever. And I just like cannot understand how he's doing that. I'm just like, well, why can't I handle th this smoothly? Or why can't I like, I can do that too. And in all actuality, I can't like, you can't do and be everything. And that is a complex that I have really badly. I try to be everything to everyone. And that is draining, that exhausts you, that, you know, that devalues your strengths, but also inflates your weaknesses at the same time. So it's like, you got to be real with yourself. So I had to get real with myself this week um, during this moving process because I have to recognize that, you know, I don't have all the answers. I don't know the best way to do everything. And I just got to deal with that shit. Like, I just got to deal with that. So... Yeah.